John Kelly back for the fourth part of our tutorial WordPress how-to series and we last left off with uh, user roles and we said we we're going to get into pages and posts but we ran out of time so but we're going to do that in this particular video now but uh, just keep in mind we're now logged in as the manager as you can see uh, we created a new role called the editor and that's uh, one below the the admin uh, just to try and make thing, life a little easier for us and one other thing I did do um, while we were away is I decided to uh, make a static home page and also make a blog page. So what I did, instead of making the home page show the blog post like it used to, I created a new page, I called it blog, and that's now where my posts go. Now there's a setting in the dashboard from the admin point, uh, from the admin, uh, admin interface that you can go to and change the order of whether the home page shows a static page or if it shows the blog post. And I changed that to show a static page for home page. So you can see now that a sample page was the name of that page is now called home. It automatically changed it on my menu for me too. And now I have another tab here called blog. So now every time I make a new blog post, this is where it's going to go. So a good way to think of the blog is this. A blog is has its own home page filled with blog posts. The newest one on the top, the oldest one underneath of it, and you can set it up to display as many as you want on that blog home page. And of course each blog post has its own individual page. When you click on that link, that title link, it takes you to its own page, shows you all the comments, and of course you can leave a, a reply. Alright, but again, more on blogging later, I promise, we'll get there. But for right now, let's talk about um, how we're going to edit these pages and, and edit these posts. So I'm going to go back into my dashboard. I'm logged as a manager. Now this is the real, um, this is the real, the meat behind uh, working on your website right now. So this is actually very important. It's probably the video you skipped to anyway. <laughs> so if we go to pages and we go to all pages, and we go to our sample page. I'm going to edit the page now. Now, I don't really want it to be called sample page, okay? Because that's what it says there on, as my title. Maybe I want to call it the name of my business. Uh, maybe I want to call it my main key phrase that I want people to help search for me for. So maybe I'll call it website designers in Rochester because that's going to be something people will actually type in a search. So I'm going to make my page that title. All right, so when I do that, I'm simply going to update my page. Okay, so now my page is done. So now when I go back to the front end of my website again, and I look at my home page, it still says home, but you notice that my title of my page is now changed. Now, depending on your theme, you may or may not have this title here. Okay, depends on how your website was set up. All right, and there's different reasons why it may or may not be there, okay? But just to give you a general idea, that is how that would appear. Now, let's say I wanted to make a new page. Oh, excuse me, I went to the wrong place there. Let's say I want to make a new page. So let's do that next. So I go to Pages, I go to Add New, and let's say I want to make an About Us page, okay? So a brand new page opens up. It's a brand new editor and uh, all we have to do is simply type in our title. Now make sure the title is short and descriptive. So uh, in this case it's simply an About Us page, so I'm just going to call it About Us. Now notice what happens directly underneath this when I click out of here and click into my editor. WordPress now just created what's called a permalink. A permalink is simply means it's a permanent link to where this page will reside on your website. Okay, so you can see my full URL of the website or web address, 6x6design.com, and I have a subdirectory called WordPress that I have this installed in, and my page is called About Us. And you notice it puts a hyphen in there. Now, if I ever change the title, you want to go in here perhaps and, and change this as well. So whatever you change in the title up top here, it's automatically gonna put that down here with you as well or down here in your page link as well okay I highly recommend though 
if you make this link once don't change it because if you start you know, using that link elsewhere on your website and you go up here and you change this it's going to break those links because they will no longer exist so my recommendation is, is once you create this permalink leave it alone unless of course you know where you have to go and make the other changes accordingly all right it's okay to change the page title because when I update that you notice that uh, this also will change as well. Okay, well, I, I messed that part up. But what I can do here is I can go in here and I can make this a link to something else by doing that. So you can see that I can have a page title and I can have a different link down here. Okay, so this is not something that you're normally going to do. I just want you to be aware that it's there. So bottom line is when we create a new page, you give it a title. It automatically gives it a link for you. And guess what else it also does? That's right, automatically puts it on your navigation bar for you. Now, if you have navigation going on over here as well, which right now we don't, it would also be added there too. Okay, so when I click on that link, automatically it's going to pop up here. Now, on some of you, you may have a website that's set up a little differently as in terms of using, um, uh, using your navigation bar and you would have to have admin permissions because there is a custom menu feature that can be used in WordPress also it means that you would have to actually add it to the admin bar but for our purposes right now this is how we're going to keep it all right so uh, back to our dashboard again so you can see what we've done now we created a new page and you can see our three pages that are in here now we changed the sample page to this new name we created an about us page and let's say we want to go in here and uh, edit this about us page and we'll put some stuff in there. Uh, one of the things about our editor as you'll see is going across our different tools here this last little button here it says when you move your mouse over it says show or hide the kitchen sink. All that means is that there's more stuff that goes along with it. I recommend you click on that because that'll show you uh, you know uh, you can different different heading tags, uh, whether underline, uh, different font colors, and other things here. Okay, now we can actually add more advanced features to this editor with an, uh, uh, what's called a plugin to WordPress that will give you different font sizes, highlighting, uh, a bunch of neat stuff. Okay, but for the most part, uh, here's our next tip that I want to talk about let's say that we have a document that has content in it and um, in that document let me just uh, resize this here real quick hang one second and um, we open up that document and we want to copy and paste the stuff that's over there in that document and put it in uh, let's just see if we can find some kind of generic here uh, one moment and it'll work uh, it's not going to work. Okay, excuse me. So uh, let's just say, uh, give me a minute. There we go. Okay, let's just say that I wanted to bring this stuff over and put it in my website. You can do that. You can highlight everything you want. You can copy it and then you can go right to here and you can paste it but I'm telling you right now what I'm showing you right now to do is the wrong way to do this and I'm doing it for a reason because I know you're gonna do this there is a better way to paste um, every anything you copy over into this editor see these little buttons right here when it says paste as plain text that'll remove all the formatting the other one here is paste from Word so when you click on that, you can paste it into this box, and then you can click Insert. And guess what it does? It does its very best to bring over everything that you copied and pasted in here the same exact way as it was on the, on the page, as best as it can. Okay? And then when I update this, and keep in mind, I'm just using generic content here. When I go and view this page on the front end, you can see what it did. It brought it over, it formatted it basically the same way it was on the home page. Now what it did do is it used the font, the sizes, and styles that are on your website and not in Word. Okay, so that's important to remember. Now if I want to go back and edit this page, uh, I want to show you the correct way 
to uh, I, I want to show you what the wrong way looks like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this stuff here get rid of it all okay so when I go back to Word and I just copy this and if I were to just go right into this editor and paste it you may or may not get lucky I know it looks very much like what I had in there when I go and I update it and I go and view the page and in this case we got lucky it actually looks very much like it did on the, on the document from before alright but there's a problem with that and let me show you what that problem is when you look at this editor you have two tabs you have a visual which is the visual editor what you see is what you get okay there's also another one here called HTML alright I know I'm scaring you now because I'm talking about code okay but when I copy and paste something into the visual editor it also brings over all the styling code with it see all this stuff right here all that right there is styling code that doesn't need, that doesn't need to be mixed up in your content because here's what's going to happen you're going to go back to the visual editor and you say well I want to get rid of the space here and you find out oh I can't get rid of that space there and you're saying oh well what about this here let me get rid of that big space there okay got rid of that one. I want to get rid of the one between there oh, I can't get rid of that how do I do it so then you're messing around with this thing and you're moving your hours around you're hitting a delete button and then next thing you know you're a mess and then you're calling me and you're saying John what's going on here well what's happening here is you've copy and pasted this in here with all the content and also the style with it I don't want you to do that I'm hitting the undo button here I'm getting rid of everything that's in here okay I'm going to delete all of this again let me show you what happens if I paste this in here as plain text so I'm going to click on that button notice it didn't bring over any of the formatting it just pasted it in with plain text period okay now I know it doesn't look the way you want it to but that's okay you're going to use this editor to make it look the way that you want to if you want to make that bold great okay if you want to uh, just leave that one space there if you want to change this to color red or whatever the case may be then you can use this editor to do all that with make sense so now when I go to the HTML side of it we don't have all that stuff in there anymore okay and all it did was it brought over the basic content a little bit of code but not much if you want to absolutely make sure that you bring over no styling code whatsoever and you just want plain old text here's how you do it click on the HTML tab click in that window and click paste this is the way I do it 99% of the times okay so if you notice it brought it over it puts some bullets and stuff in there okay but the reality is all that styling junk code did not come with it however you're gonna have to go in and format this the way you want it to now alright so uh, the next video I'm gonna get in more detail about how I can go in and change up this content so bear with me see you then